Um, what do I think about this palette, my friends? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Wow. I told you I was gonna get my hands on the pretty crunch palette from Huda Beauty. I'm so excited my friends because every year Huda Beauty comes with one big large format palette at the end of the year and usually it's a boom palette. It's one of those palettes that are memorable. They are like the grand finale of each year and I have high hopes about this palette. I was able to get my hands on it through Sephora. I will be leaving the link on the description box below. If you don't know, at the time that I'm uploading this video, that Sephora holiday savings event is still going on. So whether you are a insider, a VIV, or a Rouge member, you get some sort of discount, 20%, 15%, or 10% off. So obviously I had to get it. I really love the packaging. Do you see? I mean, like, it looks pretty crunch in a way with all these mirror right here it looks pretty pretty cool if you're new here to my channel welcome welcome to all of you my lovelies i'm so so happy that you're here if you don't know or if you know or well i just want to say it here i film in natural light and it's it's not that late but you know it's fall season so time is changing and it's getting a little bit dark so i i'm still in natural light but i need to get this going we're gonna go through a few looks but first things first let's take a peek to the inside of the palette oh my goodness look at this beauty 18 shades they look glorious and by the way i did i said that i film in a 4k camera so this is the best quality that you can get. Look at this. Oh my goodness, we have some matte shades. We also have some beautiful metallics, her very special marbleized shades too. This shade right here, Grunge, it's supposed to be kind of like a gel base. I'm excited for this, very, very excited. And you know what, looking at this palette, it has a lot of purpley like eggplant tones like dusty purples very intriguing very beautiful a few of these shades right here they have a little bit of like a pinkish nude pink undertone which i find to be fantastic phenomenal oh my gosh i'm so excited <laughs> i'm so, so so excited but before we continue to the eyeshadow looks let me show it to you right next to the new Natasha Denona Sinon palette because I know many of us, including myself, when we saw this palette, it's like, oh, it looks like the Sinon palette, but then the Sinon palette was a little bit more grayish, and that's what I'm thinking too. It's just very, very different, very different color stories. In general, you will get, yes, very grunge looks, very like smoky looks too. At the same time, I think with both of them you can actually get very daytime looks in fact i do have my review on the xenon palette with four looks three of them being like very wearable every day morning time and then obviously a very easy smoky eye look and we're going to be doing some looks with this baby but as you're able to see they are different the color stories are very different and I already have my foundation concealer lipstick on bronzer a little bit of blush highlighter if you want to know what I'm wearing again will be on the description box below and YouTube has a new future here too so if you see on the screen little pictures are pictures of things that are that I'm either using like say the palette and if you click on it you want to view the product you can view the product but also it will take you to X website right most likely I will leave Sephora website because of the discount so that way you can take advantage of it but be reminded that as many of other beauty content creators there are affiliate links okay my friends let's go for swatches first row Liberty Huron Avant-Garde Liberty Huron Avant-Garde Renegade Brave and Beauty Shots. So these are a lot of matte shades with the exception of Avant Garde. Avant Garde, it's a shade that it's kind of like in between a satin borderline metallic with little sparkles of shimmer, as you can tell right there. Super beautiful. Oh, I feel so bad to swatch these, but we have to do it. Oh, it looks so pretty. Look at that. My goodness. 
Rise up, stand up, a strong AF. <laughs> Do you see the double tonality right there? Super beautiful and super different too. So we have Nirvana, haphazard, right? Is that a way to pronounce it? I don't even know. It's a very interesting shade. Like I can see through the screen, you're able to see that eggplant undertone to it. And then from another side, it kind of looks a little bit more on the grayish tone. And then we have a matte shade, Fearless. Oh, this shade, Maverick. Oh my gosh. Do you see what I see? Oh, okay. I'm going to continue with those watches up here. Okay, so we have Hope. Okay, matte. Anarchy, love anarchy, and then Maverick. Oh, that's insane. This shade is insanity. Like super emollient and super, super metallic. And I'm looking at it like, you can even kind of like, just look, it continues the amount of pigment. That's crazy. That's insane. Okay, still another shade right here that is jumping at me. Rebel. Super. Oh, that's so beautiful. There's a big difference between these two in terms of undertones. This has that very cool tone, purple undertone to it. Stunning. We must use that. Freedom. And then this shade. This is her creamy shade. I'm going to put... Oh, wow. Wow, you know what? It looks like asphalt. It does. Oh, that's incredible. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. See right there? Oof. Oof. Freedom and then. I was gonna say asphalt. <laughs> It's grunge. <laughs> wow, that's intense. So we can use that as an eyeliner. I'm going first with the shade Freedom and a refer number 14 Max. If you don't know, refer just came out with new brushes for their holiday collection at a great price. I think they are 40% off or something like that. You must check them out. But anyhow, I'm just gonna apply this baby here. Such a gorgeous shade. I'm taking it above the crease and then dusting it on the outer third. No fallout. Easy, easy blend. Oh, I love this shade. You know, it does have that purpley undertone with a little bit of pink in it. Like a dusty pink undertone. Next I'm going with the shade Brave and I'm using a Sonia G Mini Booster. And I'm taking it on the outer third. I love this shade too. And you know what? I like the contrast, the definition, and that they are not the same. That when it blends, it doesn't blend and into the shade Freedom. That there is a true contrast between the shades too. Thinking that I need to go to Fearless. And I'm using the same brush. And I'm applying it on the outer V. I go into the shade Nirvana. And I'm going to apply it also on the outer V. But to the edge, to the very, very edge, okay? So I'm going to keep it also on the lash line too. Look at that gradient. And the best thing about this, not patchy at all. Sonia G Jumbo Blender, I'm going with the shade Beauty Cause. And you see this is like a mini kitten paw. I'm gonna pack it in there. Third, all the way to the middle. And I think if you want an all matte eyeshadow look, you may stop there up and then down. We're gonna do a couple other things. I think I wanna go with this shade, Beauty Cause, and I'm using a BK Beauty number 204 brush. I'm taking it on the lower lash line. 
Sonia G flat definer and we're gonna go with I'm thinking <laughs> wait a second I'm thinking okay first I'm gonna go with fearless okay and I'm gonna take it and apply it very close to the roots of the lower lash line okay we got that now same brush I'm gonna go with Nirvana And now I'm just applying it right on the outer third of the lower lash line. Just to make a little bit more intense this side, but that's that's it. We're gonna go with the shade Grunge. No, not yet. Okay, we're gonna go with we have to go with Rebel. Friends, we do have to go with Rebel. I honestly I will definitely apply it with my finger. That's the way that I love to apply it, but you know, let's go for a Smith 253 brush, one of my favorite brushes. I don't think the brush is big enough, enough but let's, let's do it, okay? I'm gonna apply it right on the center. See, that's not enough. Forget about it, finger it is. Free tool here, no discount needed. You got it. You got this baby, right? Let's pop it on that eyelid. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to go with the same brush, the Smith 253, and I'm going to use it just to blend the edges. Now let's go to a strong AF, and I'm using a Smith 253 brush, and I'm going to use this shade right next to the shade Rebel, the metallic shade, just to give that a gradient. I'm going to the shade Maverick. And that's going to go over top, popping it on that inner corner. BK Beauty 208 brush and I'm going to go to Grunge. And we're going to line the upper lash line with this shade. It's super pigmented and very easy. This is a creamy shade, not a balmy, but it's, it's just creamy. So obviously I have to report back how I feel about this shade and if it lasts as an eyeliner. Here you go. This is the first eyeshadow look. Super beautiful. I only apply mascara, a little bit of liner on my waterline. Now we need to do something with this other eye. <laughs> we have to. So one thing that I want you to notice, these nine shades right here, they are within one color story. If you notice, you have those purple eggplant undertones. If you go to these nine sign right here, you have more of brown with pink undertones. See right here, even the nude shades. So there's there's a distinctive difference between them. Can you mix them all together? Absolutely, there's no rule. I'm just using what my eye is drawn to right now. Okay, I'm going first with the shade hearing and let's use this shade all over the eyelid just to set the concealer and just give it a base and i was using a refer 15 max brush now going with the sonia g classic crease brush gonna go with the shade rise up and i'm gonna take this shade and apply it on the outer third of the eyelid above the crease and just blend, blend, blend. What I notice here, both shade Freedom and shade Rise Up, I do have some kickback, but not fallout on my eyelids. Although, I, it's typical of me, I do the tap situation and take any excess. Sonia G Mini Booster, and we're gonna go with Love Anarchy. And I'm gonna take this shade and apply it on the crease first and a little bit on the outer V. I'm starting to do that kind of gradient effect. Refer number 13 Max Brush and the shade Liberty. I'm just gonna take it and apply it around the edges. Just take it a little bit above. Refer number 14 brush. This is from their classic 
collection. I'm going with the shade Hope. And I'm taking this shade and applying it on the outer third. Prefer O2 brush and I'm going to go to the shade Avant Garde. And I'm going to take it and apply it on the outer third. If you're using the shade Avant Garde, I found a little bit of fallout. So I would suggest if you're going to use that shade, do your base after you do your eyeshadow look. Smith 253 brush and we're going to go to the shade Stun Up and I'm using the shade from the inner third all the way to the middle of the IV. Now this shade is pretty interesting because it's not your typical metallic shade that it has like ultra shine. It's rather opaque. It doesn't have a lot of like boom, right? Okay, now to add that boom <laughs> that I love and I want, I'm going to go with this shade which is called Maverick. And I'm just going to apply it right on the center of the eyelid because that's the wow that I want. You see, I want that very impactful look. We give it to a four brush and the shade rise up. And I'm going to take this shade and apply it on my lower lash line. And with a Sonia G flat definer, I'm going to go to the shade Hope. And I'm taking this shade and applying it very close to the roots of my lower lashes. BK Beauty 210 brush and I'm going to go with the shade Hearing. And I'm going to take it and apply it on my inner corner. And whatever is remaining is going to go on my brow bone. Same BK Beauty 208 brush and we're going to go to the shade Grunge. And I'm going to take it and apply it on my upper lash line. Doing the same thing, just lining my upper lash line. That's all what I'm doing. Okay, my friends, here are the two eyeshadow looks. I think very different, both of them. You can see a little bit more eggplant. This one is more leading to that brown grunge look for sure. But regardless, um, what do I think about this palette, my friends? As per usual, Huda Beauty has done it again. This is her grand finale. This is the palette that I'm telling you, if you like this color story, if you like what you see, and what you're seeing right here on this video is pretty much what you're gonna see in life. I mean, this is the best quality that you can ask for in terms of lighting, is natural light, 4K camera, you can really see the tones right here, okay? If you like this color story, you're not gonna regret it. This is a gorgeous palette. It has so much potential. I did two very like kind of nighttime looks, but you can certainly just leave aside those very deep eyeshadows. The reason why I use them is because I wanna try the formulation of as many of the eyeshadows as possible. And I'm pretty sure I tried many of them. I think that I didn't tap on this one, right? On this one here or Renegade. One thing I have to tell you, on this palette you get a lot of matte shades, which is wonderful. The mattes blend beautifully, they are non-patchy, and if you use the right technique, meaning that you tap your brush, I didn't saw any stream fallout. I mean, you are seeing it right here. The only shade that I found fallout and that I'm not like super, super impressed with is Avant Garde because of the way that I used it. I used it in a way that I wanted it to blend it a little and because it does have a specks of shimmer in it, I found that fallout. I think the best way that you're gonna be able to use it, try it, just, just try what I'm telling you right here. Use first this shade, then if you wanna go warm, go to this shade. If you don't wanna go warm, go with the shade, then apply this shade all over the mobile lid and then apply this shade over top. I'm sure it's gonna give you a incredible like a stunning i should say smoky eye look like very different nothing like so mm, expected you know i think that will be the best way to use this eyeshadow packing it packing it is the key i don't think blending it it was the right decision on my part that's what I have to say. Now, this shade right here, I thought it was gonna be more impressive, but it's more muted. But I think there is a reason why, and the reason why is that this is 
the name says it, is a grunge palette. It's not, is to give that depth and that, you know, yeah, it has to be that grungy, <laughs> you know, kind of look. And therefore, that that's what you find right here. You find a lot of depth, definition, beautiful palette. So say, for example, if, because I know that Sephora Holiday Savings event is going on right now, a lot of you are going to be like, what should I get? Should I get the Natasha Denona? The Natasha Denona, it's gorgeous, but everything is going to be very great. Nothing is going to be equal. I proof on my review, and that's why specifically I did four eyeshadow looks, that you were able to see that no, you're not gonna get everything just gray and simple gray and you know, you're gonna get more than that, right? But you're gonna stay in that monochromatic kind of look no matter what, while I feel like this one by Huda Beauty, it's a little bit more playful. You can still get kind of like a smoky eye look. Yeah, you don't have a silver tone, but I'm sure you may have something silver on your collection. Or if you like, for example, the Urban Decay uh, Mundas eyeshadows, the single eyeshadows, which in fact, um, Urban Decay just brought little palettes with four eyeshadows. If you like, what is it? Uh, Space Cow Cowboy, right? Space Cowboy, that's going to be an incredible look that if you want that kind of like silvery wet aspect, like I was telling you, if you do what I was saying right here, you just tap it in, that shade is going to give you that or just simply go with Maverick, you know, because it does have that coolness to it. It is beautiful. I think it is a very well created palette. I really love this gel formulation. In this case, because it's black and it's intense, and you know what? It will save you so easy in a pinch to do an eyeliner with easy, or you can even use it as a base if you really want to get a very intense look. You first go with this shade and then over top, you just set it with the black shade right here and just intensify it. So it, this palette is very well created, very well thought out, and to me, so worth it so worth to get it i didn't get it on pr i know the grunge palette is part of a collection there is even like a blush that changed with your ph that is gel like but that wasn't available at the time that i purchased these from sephora so i wasn't able to get my hands on it i know there's some lip products too so i decided well regardless the thing that i'm dying to try is the eyeshadow palette from huda beauty because i i know she always kills at the Palettes are not only beautiful in color stories, but I mean, they are made in Italy and they are usually, you know, one of those that they perform incredible and they are not a disappointment at all. And this is the case too. So anyhow, friends, that's it. Sometimes, let me tell you, I wish to be on that PR <laughs> list, but it is what it is. So anyhow, my friends, I hope that you really enjoyed this video, that you found it helpful. Let me know which of these two eyeshadow looks you like. If you are planning to pick up this new Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette, what are your thoughts about it? Also, let me know if you want me to do a third, a fourth eyeshadow look. I still have a lot of new products to try from what I have hauled from the Sephora sale. So I'm planning to do a try on haul next too. So let me know if you want to see a third eyeshadow look perhaps using this palette. I also have other palettes. So you know what? Perhaps I'm going to put just a poll on Instagram and you let me know. Vote which would you like to see a look with okay so i'm gonna put different palettes so that way you can have where to choose a selection but let's just continue that conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i want to invite you to do something that is completely free oh well <laughs> you know right subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell because believe me you don't want to miss any absolutely any of my uploads if you are on instagram and tiktok well come and follow me there it would be amazing if you can grow our family and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends that way we can grow our family and i'm very appreciative of that thank you so much again for watching and if you're not done watching my videos i will be leaving a couple other videos right here that i'm sure you're gonna love until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye bye